before we get going. Something like 1,100 rapes are reported each month in the Eastern Congo. That's an average of 36 women and girls raped every day. I heard a lot of terrible stories. Uh, the 15-year-old girl who looked younger than her years, who was fetching water from the river when two soldiers, she wasn't sure who they were, were they irregulars, were they militias, were they the Congolese army, they were just soldiers who told her if uh, she refused to uh, give in to them, they would kill her, they beat her, ripped her clothes off and raped her. I met uh, the nine, one of the nine-year-old girls who was nabbed by two soldiers who put a bag over her head and raped her repeatedly in the bushes and a woman who was eight months pregnant when she was attacked and after being so brutalized and losing her baby she was no longer accepted in her own home. I'm wondering for uh, taking the time out, thinking of his uh, girls... When women are accorded their rights and afforded equal opportunities in education and health care and employment and political participation uh, they invest in their families, they lift them up, they contribute to their communities and their nations. When they are marginalized, when they are mistreated, when they are ignored, when they are demeaned, then progress is not possible. I'm glad that uh, the uh, Minister uh, Amorim was remembering. The problem is that uh, very often there is no legal action taken against those who perpetuate this violence, even when they are members of a nation state's uh, armed forces. Stopping violence against girls is a top government-wide priority in the Netherlands. And our actions are not motivated by pity. We are under an obligation to protect and to promote these rights as we have signed this Treaty. Thank you. 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 Thank you.